Hello everyone. Today I am going to convert some of the given function into simplest form. That's why here question is written convert the function in the form of simplest. Now next here it is given to us if use. So whenever you are having 1 plus x square inside a inverse trigonometric function then we are going to use x equal to 10 theta or cot theta. Similarly whenever they have given 1 plus 1 minus x square so then in that case we are going to take x equal to sin theta or cos theta. Similarly whatever is needed in the question we are going to use this thing. So it will be easy for you to complete the answer in limited time. Now starting with this question tan inverse square root will be same as it is here it is written 1 minus cos. So here I have written 1 minus cos. So whenever you are having 1 minus cos you are direct, directly going to write 2 sin square. So in place of 1 minus cos you are going to write 2 sin square. So remember this 1 minus cos means 2 sin square. So here the angle is 2 theta it has been converted into theta that means the angle has been half of that. So if the angle is x it will be x by 2 whole divided by 1 plus cos. See here 1 plus cos is given 1 plus cos will be converted into 2 cos square. So 1 plus cos will be written as 2 cos square. So angle is 2 theta similarly it will be half of that. So here it is x so it will be x by 2. Now this 2 2 will be cancel out left with tan inverse square root of sin square by cos square is tan square x by 2. Now this square root and square will be cancel out left with tan inverse tan x by 2. Tan inverse tan will be 1 the answer will be x by 2. This is the answer the simplest form of this given inverse trigonometric function. Now coming to the next question tan inverse 1 by square root of x square minus 1. Now here we are having x square minus 1 what to use. So we can use either sec theta or cosec theta. So I am going with sec theta you can go through cosec theta also. So let x equal to sec theta. Tan inverse will be same as it is 1 by square root of x square that means sec square theta minus 1. Tan inverse will be same as it is 1 by root over sec square theta minus 1 is tan square theta. Now tan inverse will be same as it is 1 by tan square theta and under root that will be cancel out left with only tan theta. Now it will be tan inverse 1 by tan theta can be written as cot theta. We know how to change cot theta in terms of tan theta. So after that tan inverse this tan inverse will be same as it is here tan inverse that in place of cot theta I am going to write tan pi by 2 minus theta. We know this formula pi by 2 is 90 degree. We have studied in class 10 pi by 2 means 90 degree. So we left with pi by 2 minus theta. So here it is taken as x equal to sec theta. So if you multiply both side by sec inverse, if you multiply both side by sec inverse it will be sec inverse x equal to theta. That means in place of theta I can use sec inverse x. So pi by 2 minus sec inverse x. This is the correct answer. This is the simplest form of the given question. Or we know one more formula pi by 2 minus sec inverse x is cosec inverse. So we can write this also. This is also one of the answer of this given question. Thank you.